Beware of performance trade-offs. Of the four key performance areas, safety, quality, people, and cost, most people focus on the cost measure. In many cases, however, they don't consider the dollars involved because they're more interested in getting stuff made or done. Who cares what it costs? One of the primary things that you need to watch out for as you make improvements of a lean nature is that you don't sacrifice quality for the sake of efficiency gains. It might be tempting to say, I'd never do that. But the fact of the matter is that quality is harder to measure and see than efficiency is. It's also true that feedback specific to quality shortfalls lag behind the efficiency numbers that are accompanied by the production the feedback is related to. In other words, we get production information immediately, but it may take a day or two to get our quality information. In other words, if we're not measuring leading indicators of quality in a balanced way and on a daily basis, you might think you're doing okay with quality, but your customers may not have detected the problem yet or told you about it. You also need to keep the service that you provide to your internal customers in mind as you make lean improvements. Dr. Covey referred to the fact that some companies damage their relationships with their internal customers for the sake of more measurable performance numbers as killing the goose. In many cases, your internal customers are less likely to complain or be heard than your external customers are. That's no excuse to take advantage of them. In order to avoid this potential problem, you should keep the future morale levels of your internal customers in mind as you plan your future lean changes. And you should seek to use approaches such as internal customer surveys, retention rates, and absentee rate trends to regularly gauge internal customer satisfaction levels on a regular basis. Team Exercise 11. Identifying Lean Conversion Barriers. What barriers might hold back your lean transition efforts? What possible actions might you take to minimize their impact? Of these actions, Which ones do you think will make the most difference? The objective of this exercise is to identify the key barriers that might hinder your ability to implement the practices and concepts you've learned about in this course. You will then develop possible strategies for minimizing the impact of those barriers. Begin this exercise by using the cultural barriers we identified earlier and the list of typical barriers from the training materials, page 116 for reference. Select those barriers that you think would impact your ability to make a conversion to using lean tools the most. And so in the table provided, you've got a place for six different lean change barriers and how you might get over those barriers and the potential impact of the change if you made it. Once you've selected barriers that might affect you the most, assign a high, medium, or low priority to each barrier you identified. Also, identify a possible system change that may help reduce the potential impact of each cultural barrier. As part of the report out, your team might be asked to point out the most significant barriers they identified and the strategies they would suggest for minimizing barrier impact.